So hello everyone again and we are here with Dr. Vikram sir to answer your queries this time on ulcerative colitis and related. So let's start the video without wasting any time. So the first question is what is this ulcerative colitis and what are the causes? As the name says colitis means inflammation in the colon. We have three parts of the colon. There is ascending colon, there is transverse colon and there is descending colon. And there, there is sigmoid rectum and anal area. So, in when the colon is inflamed, it is called colitis. Whenever any part of the body is inflamed or swelling is there, inflammation is there. That is called. We put the word itis, itis. behind. Just if you have a inflammation in the joints, it is called arthritis. So similarly, it is called colitis. And when there are ulcer inside the colon, it is called ulcerative colitis. And sir, what are the causes? Causes. It is uh, an autoimmune disorder. When our own immunity is uh, trying to damage the colon. So it is, uh, our immunity is somewhat confused, gets confused. It is like our own army gets confused and starts attacking our own uh, country. So that is the situation here. So it is very difficult situation. We have to use some immunity modifying agents to, to correct the situation. Okay. So the next is difference between ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Well, the same situation if I, as I said that colitis is affecting the colon. Okay. Colon is a large intestine. Okay. When the large interest instead of large intestine, the small intestine, the whole gastrointestinal tract is affected. It is swollen, it is inflamed, it is having ulcers. So small intestine, large intestine from mouth to anus. The whole tract is affected. The condition is the same, ulcers and inflammation. Okay. So that is called Crohn disease. Colitis is affecting only the colon. So the major difference we have got here that in Crohn's disease, the whole part is affected and in ulcerative colitis only the colon. So the is treatment remains the same. Okay. Yeah. And the th uh, next is, how often is UC associated with colon cancer? Well, ulcerative colitis is continuous process of inflammation going on in the in the colon. So, if uh, uh, inflammatory process is continuous and for long time, for many years, it may lead to cancers. It may lead to polyps. It may lead to uh, cancerous growths also, if not controlled in time. So it is better to control uh, this uh, disease in time and inflammation process. So it, it, but it takes a lot of time. So people, they get scared that I may get colon cancer, but it, it is not like that. It takes many years. Okay. So many years of continuous inflammation, continuous uh, disease. Okay. So the next is what are the most common sy symptoms in UC patients? Most commonly, there is bloody diarrhea. There is loose stools. There are loose stools. There, there is blood in the stools, and there is mucus in the stools. There are cramps. There is weight loss and weakness, and of course, the psychological uh, symptoms of depression, anxiety, fear, sadness. So all these symptoms are there because of the disease. The patient is very upset. So it is like a whether the disease is causing the depression or whether the sadness depression is causing is the disease. The so it is like a, uh, do both are trigger points for each other. Yes, it is like a vicious circle going. Yes, on. this is the <laughs> <laughs> this is the <laughs> word which yes. was not coming. Yes. It's a vicious circle. Yes. So basically if you are in a fearful stage that can also trigger this colitis. Symptoms of fear. Yeah. Okay. Sir, the next question is, which is very common and I also will add here that uh, the modern doctors also should reply to this question very well. Yeah. So, let's uh, listen from the Dr. Vikram sir, that how long to continue treatment? Is it for lifelong? Uh, according to modern medical system, there are certain medicines like uh, misalazine and uh, certain immunosuppressants, certain uh, like azathioprine 
और मिसाला जीन इज मेसा कॉल इज ब्रांड ऑफ मिसाला जीन सो मेसा कॉल ऐसा कॉल सच मेडिसिन आर देयर एंड स्टीरोड आर ऑल्सो गिवन समाइम्स इम्यूनोसप्रेस एंड इंजेक्शन आर ऑल्सो रिटुक्सी मैप एंड सच एन टी वी ओ ऑल सच इंजेक्शन आर गिवन दे आर ऑल फोकस्ड ऑन इन कंट्रोलिंग द डिजीज इन स्टॉपिंग द प्रोग्रेस ऑफ द डिजीज बट स्लोली स्लोली द डिजीज कीप्स प्रोग्रेसिंग इन यूजिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड इट कैन बी इन रिमिशन सेट रिमिशन मीन्स the the disease is not the symptoms are not present there but the patient is taking these these um, drugs these medicines but in ayurveda i am using some ancient uh, methods ancient herbs which are uh, uh, used for this colitis and i am getting very good results and the patient remission you can say i would say cure or remission whatever you said but it is lasting for for a very long time can be 10 years 15 years so it can be uh, longer time and patients are happy most of my patients who are using ayurvedic medicine they stopped modern drugs they completely stopped modern drugs they are living on ayurvedic medicines and most of them they have also stopped ayurvedic medicines so they are you can say in remission or in cure whatever word you want to use but they are living their life comfortably peacefully happily and they are not living in fear of colitis they are eating everything they are able to uh, live their life so but i don't recommend that you should eat everything many of uh, the patients which i interview them after the healing process they say we are eating everything but uh, still i would say you should take precautions that means diet plays a really major role yeah. and the next question is related is it something to do with our diet or lifestyle or habits colitis is uh, an autoimmune disorder it has it ha- must have some uh, trigger point with right it can be stress also it can be diet also and uh, sometimes it is also said that it is genetic so whatever is the reason diet plays a very important role to keep the disease in control and uh, there are certain uh, ayurvedic incompatible diets which should not be given which should not be consumed so that the the, the disease doesn't go into the flare so there are certain uh, type of diet which i recommend according to ayurveda according to ayurveda it is a pitta disease vata and pitta pitta tisar atisar means diarrhea diarrhea due to too much of aggravation of fire element and also the colon is the seat of vata so vata is also imbalanced and vata imbalance is also caused due to stress and anxiety so living a stressful lifestyle eating a lot of junk food uh, incompatible food especially like milk cheese and buttermilk when you are mixing it together with milk products when you are mixing with the something sour yes for example you take a pizza you put some cheese pineapple and tomato pineapple. cheese and yeah. pineapple and tomatoes yes. you uh, drink uh, lassi put some sour mango also mango yes. lassi also yes. people they drink yes right similarly uh, lemon with some milk or certain dishes they should be avoided okay so the next is why does the immune system behave abnormally in uc because of the trigger points because of the certain antigens they are being formed in the in the digestive system in the gut if you eat some food which is incompatible in nature it forms some antigen or the the protein molecules which the body sees them as as a, as enemy and the body immune system attacks that enemy and the body immune system just uh, confuses it with the colon cells so it starts to attack the colon cells also so then there is autoimmune reaction and the body starts to attack the colon okay so the next is does uc affect any age group yes i have seen small children adults elderly patients so it is affecting uh, all the age groups men women okay can pregnancy be planned during uc it depends upon the condition and the situation it can be planned it is not that you cannot become pregnant if you are uh, in uh, not in a flare 
and everything is fine and you are taking necessary precautions, you can plan pregnancy. So the next question is, what will be the treatment if UC is diagnosed after conceiving? If it is diagnosed after conception and uh, if uh, there are no serious symptoms, then it is okay. If there are symptoms, we can give the medicines and uh, we can continue with the pregnancy. So the next is, is UC genetic, uh, can genetically be transferred to f uh, kids or other family members? Yes, according to Ayurveda also, it is a Pitta disorder and Pitta uh, predominant uh, people, they, they can have Pitta predominant children also, but it is a probability. So according to Ayurveda, there are different type of Prakritis. Vata Prakriti, Pitta, Kapha, Vata Pitta, Pitta Kapha and Vata Pitta Kapha, yes. seven types. So the children of these Prakriti people can have, can be Pitta Prakriti people. So, I want to inform you all, like we have one Know Your Prakriti analysis chart on our website as well. So yes. you can check your Prakriti too. And also once you analyze your Prakriti at our website, you will after the it is ai supported uh, program yes. you can just uh, put your it will ask you questions you can answer them and it will tell you your prakriti your constitution and it will tell you what you should eat what you should not eat what type of person you are how you should make changes in your lifestyle and your diet then you can uh, follow healthy healthier lifestyle yes so the next question is why am i losing weight weight in uc am i going towards malnutrition Yes, it is uh, common in uh, UC to lose uh, weight because a uh, lot of diarrhea and a lot of mucus is passing through and a lot of dysentery and blood. So, of course, it can lead to a lot of uh, problems, especially malnutrition. So, you must be in touch uh, with Ayurvedic doctors or our team of doctors. Yes. You can book online consultations and appointments and then they will guide you. And also, you can just start by following the diet and then you can consult with the doctors. Yes. And for the diet, Dr. Vikram Chauhan sir's uh, e-book is already available on our store, on our website, www.planetarvda.com. Also, you will find many videos on our channel and the links will be dropped in the description below. So, get, coming to the next question, how to know whether you are suffering from UC or not? Uh, when you will have the symptoms, you will know it. <laughs> because if you are going to die uh, bloody, you are passing stools with blood, yes. of course you will be scared and you will go to the doctor and the doctor will uh, uh, yes. diagnose it. But you. here the next question is coming to the mind, sir, that uh, is uh, uh, blood in stools common in UC? I mean, uh, is there any other disease also in which? Yes, of course, the there stools? can be piles also, there can okay. be fistula, fissure. So anything can be there, so okay. you don't have to be worried about that you have got ulcerative colitis, can be any many reasons. Okay, so can UC patients do some exercise or yoga, if yes then which exercises? Well, breathing exercises, deep breathing exercises to calm down, not aggressive. Okay. Not uh, too much of uh, aggressive exercise. Means no hard gym and all. No gymming uh, because uh, exercise puts a lot of pressure on your intestines. Yes. Gymming I don't recommend. Running I don't recommend. I recommend simple walk. I recommend simple exercises like yoga. All kind of yoga, physical exercise can be done. You don't need too much of exercise to live life. Yes. You just need 45 minutes of exercise every day. It just can be consistency. Though. Consistency. Just even if you walk for 45 minutes a day, that is more than enough to live a good, healthy, 100 years old life. So this, I think, is the bonus tip of this video <laughs> that you can even just walk for 45 minutes and you can stay healthy with that. Of course. Yeah. And the next is, what is the role of diet charts in ulcerative colitis? Uh, Ayurveda says in this ancient verse, Pathya Sati Gdhartha Se Kim Aushadani Shevanam, Pathya Sati Gdhartha Se Kim Aushadani Shevanam. Means, if your diet is wrong, what is the use of medicine? If the diet is right, there is no need of medicine. Yes. So, diet is very important in every disease, not only colitis, because the food is what is going to make you, make your cells. If you are eating wrong food, your cells will be made wrong. So, it is better to always be in touch with an Ayurvedic expert and ask for the perfect diet for your 
constitution okay so the next question is why do the symptoms fluctuate in ulcerative colitis because uh, every individual is different every person is having different constitution mata pita kapha or mixed constitutions so the symptoms can fluctuate somebody can have a lot of diarrhea somebody may not have too much diarrhea somebody can have lot of blood also somebody can have mucus also depending upon the person to person so can the flare ups uh, of uc be prevented yes with the diet which i have mentioned in my diet videos uh i think you can um, check in the in my youtube channel yes in the description also the we are giving the description link description you can give the link there are lot of uh, diet videos you should you ca- i am making a lot of colitis patient videos testimonials real patient patient testimonials yes. to encourage you to give you confidence that the, yes this disease can be cured this can be put into remission this can be controlled can be managed so to boost your morale but to cure it to get rid of it how how to do it you have to do some uh, necessary actions you watch my videos on diet and follow the diet and i'm sure with the diet alone you will see the improvement yeah. and learn how to make how to cook khichdi because khichdi is a perfect indian uh, recipe yeah. which can provide you nutrition which can uh, help in uh, gaining the weight and also uh, giving uh, rest to your intestines and in earlier times people used to uh, have this like commonly after yeah. one to two, two days of festivals or parties yeah. they just have the khichdi khichdi is rice gruel yes. basically a very uh, thin liquid uh, gravy and with rice yes. and put some ghee also you can also eat ghee cow's ghee cow's ghee yeah. so ghee is also lubricating and good for the wounds in the ulcer in the colon okay sir is the buttermilk can be taken uh in buttermilk is called takra in ayurveda most of the vaidyas or ayurvedic doctors in ayurveda they recommend but, but, uh, buttermilk, buttermilk takra to restore uh, to as a probiotic yes. but i have observed that many patients they are not not able to tolerate it well okay it although it has many properties but uh, it is not uh, and doing very good in uh, in ulcerative all colitis all the patients okay. so i don't recommend it okay. i would recommend rather uh, what most of the vaidyas or the doctors they don't recommend that is called yogurt that is yes. thick thick yogurt and uh, thick yogurt has a, yeah buttermilk is having a property called liquidity yes. or the dravatva yes. or the chalatva these characteristics uh, attributes are there in this uh, buttermilk. buttermilk so it can increase the chalatva mobility and the the liquidity in the body but this uh, yogurt is abishandi or it is st- stopping the it is stool forming so that's what we need it is kind of symptomatic relief in uh, colitis patient and also nutrition they are they need some yes. calcium they need some um, some Uh, uh, wait to gain yes so the next is what are the side effects of anti inflammatory medications like mesalamine and immunosuppressant medications like azathioprine uh the list is very long i i i don't need to explain it to you you can check over internet okay. mesalazine and uh, these uh, steroids and these immunosuppressant there are a lot of side effects also so you should be very careful for using them so you can check internet there are a lot of side effects you can google it google yeah it. and how will i know if my disease is in remission when you any disease which is not having any symptom it is called in remission okay so it is remission period when the disease is symptom free okay should colonoscopy be done frequently no there is no need and there is no requirement of frequent colonoscopy it can be done once in a year or or something like that okay. and uh, there is another test of stool called fecal calprotectin although it is not 100% reliable test but still it gives you a lot of picture about the condition of your colon so you can uh, do this test called fecal calprotectin it is an inflammatory marker in the colon it is done from the stool okay. every 3 months or 4 months you can just have a picture and analyze it so here is one major question we also find in our uh, like opds that why are dairy products avoided in ulcerative colitis because people are fan of tea 
of course. <laughs> yes. Uh, Indian tea. Yes. Out of India, they are they are consuming tea without milk. Yes, sir. And in India, we we are consuming milk. tea with milk. In all autoimmune disorder, because autoimmune disorder is when some protein molecules, animal protein, comes in our blood, that confuses our immune system, okay. and that can lead to autoimmune disorders. And colitis is an autoimmune disorder, yes. so that is why I am uh, just. Uh, stopping the milk products in autoimmune disorders and also the uh, non-vegetarian uh, food but in uh, certain cases where there is too much uh, malnutrition so that's why I recommend yogurt and also recommend sometimes uh, to some patients some chicken soup or some soups of non-vegetarian uh, items okay. but but it should be non-spicy it should be without any too much of uh, spicy things okay so the next is what should i eat during a flare up of uc symptoms so i think we have answered khichdi. it already khichdi yes. Yes. banana and curd and banana curd and banana and rice because it is gluten free and some uh, pomegranate juice this is what i recommend in most of my videos yes so do i need to be concerned about not getting enough nutrition from food because of uc uh, no, because uh, the food which I am recommending, bananas and khichdi and ghee and almonds and walnuts and uh, pomegranate juice, everything can be, all the green vegetables, yes. not the too much leafy vegetables, not too much fiber like watermelon and papaya you should not take, but uh, most of the vegetables you can consume after following, especially making them in a soup form yeah means following the diet as prepared by dr vikram sir as per his experience so you can get enough nutrition it is better to soup. prepare the soup of green leafy vegetables without consuming the consuming them okay. you will get all the nutrition from them yeah and moreover i give some herbs like spirulina and everything it gives you sufficient nutrition yes but that soup should be homemade homemade of and course and without not, spices not packaged yeah. or not in yeah in and the not tin. to add any cream or something yeah. in that it yeah. should be very natural yes so the next is are there any other risk from ulcerative colitis yes it is a disease like any other disease there can be so many complications of the disease it should be you don't most of the patient they are scared of disease so my aim of this video is you don't be scared okay this disease we can take care of it using ayurvedic methods and ayurvedic medicines so disease uh, causes a scare in your mind yes so fear is the biggest cause of all the diseases so get rid of the fear don't be scared so follow the diet should be okay so the next is what tests are used to monitor ulcerative colitis as i told you uh, this uh, fecal calprotectin okay. is a good test can be used okay. you can also do blood test hemoglobin analysis to see if the blood count is getting down or cbc or complete blood count to see uh, esr levels to see the inflammation crp to see the inflammation to see the inflammation and also uh, just examine physical examination of the patient yes. to see the level of nutrition and to see how how the clinically clinical picture of the patient sir is surgery an option in ulcerative colitis and uh, is it always successful surgery uh, is uh, is an option of course it is an option but it yes. is in very very rare cases it is recommended it is or it is needed but it is uh, when every option is uh, opted out and the thing is working in that case surgery is done but uh, i'm not sure that uh, surgery is successful in all the cases or it is uh, even recommended but it is better to use ayurvedic medicines like it's always better to go for the medicines first yes. than going to the surgery. And Ayurveda has given uh, much better results in my patient when the modern drugs like mesalazine and steroids and yes. ajathioprene like uh, these uh, immunosuppressants they are not working. The Ayurvedic medicines are working. Yes. So they can help you a lot. So the next question is about the symptom. Hmm. The mucus passes along with gas. Why does this happen? 
It is a common symptom in colitis because there is inflammation going on, patient is not able to digest the food properly, there is mucus, there is gas formation. So such symptoms are there in all the patients, most of the patients. There are cramps also, weight loss. Okay. I haven't had blood in my stool since three months. Okay. Why has it come now? Like it's recurring. Sometimes in some patients it can come and it can recur. So it is uh, sometimes it takes time to heal the wounds or heal the ulcers. So it can happen, don't be scared, but it won't be like uh, before, like you had a previous experience. But even if it is like the same uh, so consistency or same uh, way, method, same way yes. so still you don't be scared, it can be controlled. Yes. So the next question is why do symptoms increase after stopping allopathy medicines? because it is just holding the symptoms for some time. So I don't recommend to stop it immediately. We can reduce the, we can monitor your uh, uh, disease, we can monitor you, we can slowly, it is always advised to reduce slowly, slowly, slowly. The allopathic medicine. Yeah, so if the, if the disease comes, I, I would recommend to go back to the dosage which you were previously. Don't stop it immediately. So keep taking these allopathic medicines also along with the Ayurvedic medicines. If the disease comes when you slow, uh, when you reduce the dosage, then you go back to the higher dosage, and slowly we try again. And this try try again, we get rid of the the medicines, and then we are solely on Ayurvedic medicine. And after some time, slowly slowly we reduce the Ayurvedic medicines also. Okay. So the next question is that every symptom stops, hmm. but b why hasn't the mucus? Why it continues for long? Uh, it is also the disease symptom or the sign and uh, so slowly slowly when the inflammation goes away it will also stop and it also doesn't happen in every patient right yeah it is different yes you know, why, is, why is there pain in the rectal area it is also the disease uh, sign and symptom okay. rectum is affected and it is inflamed that's why it is causing the, there may be some ulcer also in that area it is causing the pain so the next question is when there is diarrhea, hmm. why does my stomach feel bloated? Because of the gas, because of the formation of, because of fermentation going on in your gut. So that's why there is, there can be, or imbalance of the, the gut flora that can lead to bloating. Okay. And the next question is why is there, is there a slight pain in the stomach? So again, it's the symptom? Yes, it is a symptom. These are the symptoms. Pain, diarrhea, mucus, blood, and bloating, cramps. The next question is, when I go to pass stool, instead mm. of stool, only mucus comes out. What? Yeah, these are the various symptoms. Sometimes mucus comes out, sometimes gas comes out, sometimes nothing comes out, only the blood comes out, sometimes uh, everything comes out. So these are variations in symptoms. So here is a major question and very common too. Do I have to follow a diet yet even after recovery? Uh, yes, it is recommended that you follow the diet chart like for a healthy person. Yes. It is always recommended to follow a certain type of diet and lifestyle. Like to avoid income. To avoid diet. any any disease affecting you. But if you don't uh, follow the diet in your life, you can fall sick. So same principle <laughs> applies to yes. colitis patient. So you should Either follow the diet or fall sick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. If you don't follow the diet, you will fall sick. If you don't exercise, you will fall sick. Yes. So, can ulcerative colitis be managed with Ayurvedic medicine or natural therapy? Yes, it can be. Yes, it can yes. be. Very well managed and very good results. Yes. So, the next is, is fulminant colitis life-threatening? What is the treatment for this? Fulminant is very aggressive form of colitis, okay. so it can be life-threatening also. So that is a rare situation when there is. So if we talk about more about fulminant colitis, yes, yes. people will start googling it, yes. and they will be more scared. Yes, and so, we will lose the track of us with the colitis <laughs> too. So we are here to calm them down, yes. restore the peace in their mind rather than scare them. Yes, and the so, major thing is, as sir said, that it is not common. It is rare and rare, 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 rare. So the next is, does ulcerative colitis make you immunocompromised? 
Yes, of course, because you are uh, taking immunosuppressant drugs and your immunity is, uh, of course, compromised because of those drugs. So it can make you, you know, and also your lack of nutrition, immunosuppressant steroid medicines can make you immunocompromised. Here's the last question, sir. What is the role of NSAIDs in the development of ulcerative colitis? NSAIDs uh, or NSAIDs, or, uh, these are uh, painkillers, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. So NSAIDs are usually not given, rather they are contradictory in uh, ulcers. For example, uh, ibuprofen. Ibuprofen can cause more ulcers. So ibuprofen uh, is a, a category of NSAIDs. It comes in category of NSAIDs. So other uh, NSAIDs are uh, nimesulide or certain pain-killing medicines. So they are not recommended at all. Okay. So that was all about the FAQs on ulcerative colitis. And we have almost answered all and also told you about the diet and the medicines. So, sir, uh, we can add one question that what are the most common medications that you are giving to your patients in ulcerative colitis? Yes, in other videos, my other videos also, I have mentioned I am giving Kutaj Ganvati, Kutja. Kutja is a tree, Halorina, anti dysentrica. I am using Pitta balance to balance the Pitta. I am using some, some combinations. Uh, cumin, fennel and thyme tea, I would recommend. CCF tea. CCF. Yes. You have named it as CCF. Yes, Even I don't know the name CCF. <laughs> it so, has been trended, so we have also used the name CCF tea. Okay. Yes. So cumin, fennel and thyme, uh, this you can use, you can cook at your home to avoid the cramps and gas formation. We have GR gas relief kada. Yes. That is also very much uh, useful in such uh, herbal teas and and some uh, uh, plants you can use yes so it's all about the state of colitis faqs and for any other more comments or questions you can always comment in the box below and for the diet and videos you can check the description so thank yeah. you so much sir for answering all the faqs and we hope that this video will help most of the uc patients and stay motivated don't panic and ayurveda has the solution so thank you yes thank you very much Planet Ayurveda, founded in 2002 by Dr. Vikram Chauhan, MD Ayurveda. Dr. Vikram Chauhan ka ek hi motive hai, har ghar Ayurveda. Planet Ayurveda ke zariye Dr. Vikram Chauhan Ayurveda ko dunya ke har kone mein pohunchate hain, taaki log naturally healthy life jee sake. Planet Ayurveda ka head office Mohali, Punjab mein hai. Planet Ayurveda poore planet par Ayurveda ko promote kar raha hai. Bimari koi bhi ho, fatty liver, liver cirrhosis, ulcerative colitis, ITP, chronic chronic kidney, skin, lung diseases, neck, back, knee pains, arthritis, psoriasis, migraine, gynae problems, diabetes, belly fat ya aur koi. Solution sir fake. Pure planet ke logon ki sehat ka number one saathi. Ab ghar bethe online consultations kare. Top MD Ayurveda specialist ke saath. India ka best online Ayurvedic clinic. Aur paay sari Ayurvedic medicines ki home delivery. Worldwide. Problem koi bhi ho. Solution sir fake. www.planetayurveda.com Log on to www.planetayurveda.com and order a full range of Ayurvedic medicines and herbal supplements. Delivered worldwide.